two, one. What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? It is your favorite duo here at Front Stretch, Michael Massey and Brian Timothy Dale Nolan, in the words of Scott Pruitt, hi to my family at home. Michael Massey, it was another kind of family affair this evening, and for the third, for the second time, I should say, in the past three races here at Las Vegas, there was a first-time winner. Last fall, it was Riley Herbst. This evening, another first-time winner, and it was a historic, historic night. Yes, sir. Mr. Roger Caruth became the third African-American to win in the NASCAR national touring levels. So top three series, Cup, Xfinity, Trucks. He was due. He This was a long time coming. It's just he finally, he we've seen the speed, but he finally put the whole race together, won the pole, was fast throughout, you hung in there with Kyle Busch, Ty Majeski. They swapped the lead back and forth, but when it was all said and done, he didn't make any mistakes. Those guys made mistakes. He did not. He wins the race. Historic day for NASCAR. It was a great day. Third African-American, Wendell Scott, and then Bubba Wallace. I think it just shows how much he is respected as there is a plethora of tweets from the currents like Kyle Larson to Ross Chastain to like legends like Rick Mass congratulating him in victory lane and on Twitter or X, whatever you want to call it. With that being said, it was a little bit different truck race tonight, Massey, because the past couple weeks we have been they've been getting criticized and critiqued. This was an incredible, incredible truck race. A very clean race, but very, very uh, battle-friendly and battle-hungry all around the racetrack. It was fantastic and fun race. It was awesome. They were they were like three wide for the lead at one point. They were slide, slide job back and forth. Hey, Dale. Uh, they, they, hey, you know what? We're not going to hear them this year. So. Don't remind me. Come on, NBC. Uh, but, yeah, you had guys. I saw some people pinching others on the bottom. You're like, don't do that. They're going to wreck. And they did not wreck. Which is super weird. There's only two cautions for incidents today. And the second one, I'd argue, shouldn't have even been a caution. It was yeah. Dean Thompson just scraped the wall. Uh, yeah, super. The Trucks needed to prove that they can drive clean. They did that tonight. They put on a show, and they kept it clean. I'm proud of them. Atta boys. Like I, like I give my dog Archer when he goes to the bathroom outside. Atta boy. So all the truck drivers get an atta boy. Speaking of more atta boys, we got the NASCAR Xfinity Series. I don't know what you're giggling about because it's windy as all get out. The Xfinity boys and girls are going to be in action tomorrow. And I think what you're giggling about is the wind. And that's going to be the biggest factor come tomorrow. 55 to 60 mile an hour winds could possibly occur here in Las Vegas. What are you going to be looking forward to and what are you keeping your eye on tomorrow during the Xfinity race? Well, right now I'm keeping my eye on our tripod as these 25 <laughs> mile per hour winds try to blow over our uh, We need our to have our, our buddy Dustin <laughs> control the tripod yeah, tomorrow. Uh, yeah, so tomorrow it will be double the speed of the winds. Mm -hmm. And, uh, yeah, it, it will be wild. I think you'll see some guys. I think it will be blowing. If I am if I got my directions right, it will be blowing. like So they're going down the back stretch. It will give them a little extra speed. But then when they, get to, turn, when they get to turn three, <laughs> they'll be like, whoa. <laughs> yeah. So it will be a fun race. I think, uh, you know, Riley Herbst dominated this race last fall, as you mentioned. I think he's a guy to watch. He could go two in a row here. Okay, I'm going to go with the guy that um, I think is going to be surprising some people. He kind of got denied a win last year when Austin Hill beat him with about a couple laps to go. Chandler Smith gets his first victory for JGR in that number 81 car. Got Chandler Smith getting the job done. We want to hear from you on Twitter and X at the Brian Nolan at M underscore Massey 22. We should probably get out of here before this falls or our tripod falls. For, for everybody here, we'll talk with you tomorrow from even windier Las Vegas Motor Speedway. From Mike Massey, I'm Brian Nolan. See ya. We out. Welcome to Race Face Digital, where you can buy, sell, collect, and trade digital MP4 racing cards of your favorite drivers. Receive a free five-card fan pack when you enroll for free at racefacedigital.com, the ultimate entertainment platform. What up? It's Brad Perez. Uh, click subscribe and watch one of the two videos right beside me. Visit frontstretch.com for more racing content.